I mean, I'll have like fruity soft clipper on this shit. That's what I say, mm. yeah, soft clipper. <laughs> that's yeah, all yeah. I do. And yeah. I just started turning my drums up and I was like, dang, like that's really what you do. Keep, and keep. soft clipper. Soft clipper. Yeah, yeah soft clipper's real. What's good, Logic Gang? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm gonna show you guys how you can achieve that soft clipping mixing technique in Logic Pro X right after this. So a lot of my subscribers have been uh, hitting me up asking me how they can achieve that soft clipping mixing technique that you hear people using in FL Studio. I did a lot of digging and actually trying to understand what soft clipping does so I can emulate that in Logic Pro X and I found a workaround for this. First things first, we're going to have a listen to a part of a beat uh, where I'm using the soft clipping technique. Then we're going to get into how I achieve that sound. Let's go. As you can tell, you know, the uh, the kicks are, you know, hitting pretty hard, uh, almost to the point where they're distorting, but uh, but the distortion on this actually sounds good. It's, uh, you know, not this hard distortion that you would get with hard clipping. Earlier in the video, I put up some text uh, that showed you the difference between hard clipping and soft clipping. A little bit of cross promo. If you're wondering which drum kit I'm using, I'm using the MF80 Volume 2 kit, which you can find on Frequency.com. Put a link in the cards right here as well as in the description. So if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to click on those and check it out. I've also included a free mixing template for you guys. That link will also be available in the description as well as in the cards right here. If you're watching this video on Instagram, head over to my YouTube channel, watch the same video so you can get those links. Now I'm going to show you guys how you could set up your own soft clipper. So first things first, head over to your stereo channel, drop in a distortion plugin using the overdrive in stereo. And by default, you're not going to have this, but I have the soft clipper setting like this. So all you need to make sure of is that your drive is at zero dB. Your output you could play around with, I have it at negative one, and the tone is uh, 20,000 hertz, and the level compensation is on. That's really all you need to do in order to achieve that same soft clipping effect in Logic Pro X. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I uh, really appreciate you taking the time. If you have any questions or whatever it is, put those in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you're notified anytime I upload some new content. Generally, I go live once a week where I listen and critique your music. So if you want to join us uh, the next time, make sure to hit that subscribe and bell button on my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. My name is CJ. I'm out. Peace.